Hey guys and welcome back to Minecraft. Today we got another update video here planned for you guys and we're going to be checking out a lot of the interiors. I went ahead and did that room, the upstairs in there, the upstairs in there, um, the chapel over there, and then the, all three interiors on the tower. So we got a big update video for you guys today. It's going to be really cool. I hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to be starting out over here in kind of the feast hall, I guess you would call it, for the monastery. So I found out through just randomly using them, emerald blocks give the wine thing, so that was super cool to find out. So we have wine racks, that's awesome. Um, just that extra little bit of detail. But anyways, this is what we got. I'm just standing on the cake over here. But I just really enjoy this room. I thought it turned out really cool. Got these sunflowers in here to get that extra little bit of color. Got a few banners hanging up, three or four of them. And then over here we got a nice hearth, just kind of keeping the area warm. All that good stuff. And I did chairs like this with the little slab right there. And then the trap door. So that it looks like these are like pushed in. Because there is openings underneath. It's all stairs kind of going around. It's, I know it's kind of hard to see looking this way. But like there's the opening. So I just kind of want to figure out how I can make the chairs look like they're pushed in. So we get more chairs in here. Without making it look like the whole place is just crammed full of stuff. But yeah. So I really enjoyed this area. Um, the roof is... Just kind of did this little these spruce uh, supports up here for keeping the roof up, and I thought it looked pretty cool. I wanted to do like a chandelier or something, but the room just felt too small for building a vanilla chandelier, so I ended up going with this. Did some little ladders from six. Well, sorry, I can't talk to that. For some extra bracing down below where the supports start, I just thought it was a cool little touch. And in the morning, um, I don't know if the sun's still out there. I got I got some really cool views from like this area right here when the sun's like coming right through that just looks really awesome. So I'm really enjoying all this in here and that's pretty much the mess hall area where all the, the monks in the monastery would come to eat and whoever's staying with them. We got this nice painting up here, you know, just a nice little entry doorway. I thought it looked pretty cool. And then over here we'll go into the upstairs area. So I originally was going to show you guys while I was building this. Because I've been trying to use replay mod, and it has just been terrible. Every single time it gets the recording, and then I try and go and render it, and it crashes. And it randomly crashes, and I lose all the progress. So I've just kind of given up on replay mod for now, so I figured I'd show it to you guys this way. But yeah, so this is the upstairs area. Got a nice little carpet in here for some color, some few plants and things like this. I don't know really who would be staying in this room, but it is a higher up room, I guess. It's more fancy than... Um, their general living quarters, so like more probably like a royal guest or something like that. This would probably be a big guest room for somebody to come through and stay in. But yeah, just got it's very high lofted ceilings because I didn't want to put another like tiny floor up there. I guess we could have done like a trapdoor floor or something like that, but I feel like a little would, would have looked a little weird. Whereas this way, I really like it. I think it looks, I think it turned out pretty cool. Oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's just a nice big opening and open room that fancy stuff. And yeah, that's that room. And then now going up to the top of the tower, the way we get to the top is come over here. And there's a little ladder that goes all the way up. And this, I kind of reserved for one of the higher ups of the monk who's kind of been around forever. And he has his own little private room. So we use the dark oak doors. So that's kind of a little border right here. So he has his own little wall separating. But so you close that and it kind of closes the area. And so we'll open that back up. But yeah, so this is his room. He's really a big fan of flowers. So he's got some nice flowers over there. He's got a really cool little uh, table and whatnot in here. And some more flowers behind. The double bed over there. And some like old ancient golden armor and some more flowers. Then he's got all of his books and storage and things up above. So kind of suck if he's an old dude, which he probably is. He probably has servants or something coming to help get in. Get all this stuff or other lower monks and things like that. But I ended up making the walls too thick just because I really didn't like the gray color being there. So the gray is on the outside, and I came back and did a white on the inside and a little border with the half slab textures uh, down below just because I thought it looked pretty cool. Hey yeah, guys, so this is his room. I'm, I like it. It's pretty, it's interesting. It's different. I tried, I've been really trying to mix up the designs and. Trying different styles here in vanilla and actually incorporating all of the blocks 
And so I felt like I was getting into a pretty repetitive design pattern using trapdoors for everything. So I've been trying to mix it up and just do something a little different now and then. So over in here, since we did the dog kennels last time, I said I was going to be doing the chapel. And we got our chapel finished. I really like it. It's got a nice another set of ancient armor over here. I went with gold for all the ancient armors just because I thought it worked better. Um, so we got the monks there. They got some carpet so they can kneel down and kind of pray and stuff and do whatever. Um, and over here, I copied the altar design we used in the main cathedral just so it looks really similar. And then it's a little bit different up here. But yeah, so it's pretty open. Just cool stuff. I don't know why I did this painting here. I put it there and I just felt like it worked. I've never used that painting before. Like ever. I don't think I ever have used it. And I figured it worked right there for some reason. I don't know what it was. But it just felt right. So over in here, this little mess of trapdoors that we got going is actually a like little blanking on what they're called, but you could sit here and like confess your sins and things to the dude over there. Um, blanking on the name of it right now, but you guys know what I mean. So you'd have like a monk or a priest or somebody sitting in here listening to whoever goes over there. The like con confessional, I think it is. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, so let's go with that. That's what we're going to call it. The roof, again, we did a spruce roof, so it's kind of harder to do the texturing on the inside, trying to make it look a little bit more interesting. So I did the two big beams and then kind of just these four um, thicker parts of the roof with a bunch of trap doors to try and help it. So that's kind of what we did in there. That is that room. So moving on to the next area, I believe our next up area is we did that. We did both those rooms up in there. We did that area. Oh yeah, I guess we can head on up there. So this area was probably where I spent the most time working in the last week or so. I also need to finish zombie proofing this area. A lot of mobs spawn in here. But anyways, so the one thing I still want to work on is how to actually get up. Because we have the ladder right here. And it's kind of annoying. We got all this cool stuff over here. As you can see, I kind of reworked the steps going all the way up. It looks a little bit worse from down below. But I like it in the fact of like trying to get up the place. So anyways, this is what we got going. We've got little steps up here. And this area is a lot more formal. It's a lot fancier. And so right up in here we have like a scribes area. I really I thought those turned out pretty cool. Um so we got little two little chairs for scribes to be working on things. We got a big map of the world. Don't think it actually looks like that, but we got a map. And with the two thick walls we were able I was able to do a lot fancier designs on the inside using quartz and chiseled quartz and the quartz pillar, whichever that one is. The three types of quartz, blocks, and then this is just yellow stained clay right here. And I thought it made a good texture. Each floor is like a little bit of a different color palette. I tried making it a bit more interesting. Yeah, so that is this floor. We got the little scribe area. And then up here, this is kind of where the lead of the order would live, in my opinion. I thought it worked out. I thought it made a cool idea. But so he's got his own little private study lounge area. And the walls in here are a lot more oriental, I guess, than anywhere else in the build. But I thought it was kind of cool to mix it up, use this kind of design instead of the same everywhere else. So we got these the carved oak, and then we got some birch around the bottom. He's got some diamond armor up here just because I felt we have gold everywhere else. We might as well put some diamond. He's got his mirror over there, a block of diamond. We've got some more wine and things like that. Again, using this as a divider wall, um, we got a, this would be kind of where you would be able to change. Um, so he's got um, a, just kind of the skulker box. Which color is this? I can't remember which color this. Oh, I have one right here. Light gray skulker box kind of has the clothes texture around it. Shulker box, sorry. And then this is the black shulker box. It actually looks like a little pack. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I guess a little pack sitting on top of it, but that was kind of the last materials I had for shulker boxes for now. I figured I'd use them in the fancy regions. But he's got like great views looking down over all this stuff. And then this little makeshift chandelier that he's got going on here. Uh, or that I made. It kind of, I like it. It works pretty well. Ooh, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so that's the chandelier. And up here we have his actual living quarters. And he's just got a huge fancy 
old bad. Um, the walls are really light because we again I went back to the quartz and this time using the orange stained clay or hardened clay, whatever it is. But um, I felt like that gave a nice little difference to making it that much more fancy. And so he's got his bed up here. I used the blue because it kind of worked with the orange and the greens. And then um, he's got, I used the white carpet just because it was a pillow to bring it up a little bit. But yeah, so this is the bedroom. I like how it turned out. It's pretty cool, in my opinion. It is very, very fancy compared to everything else in this uh, entire build. So I figured it worked out great for the lead of the order. He has this very high prestigious place where he can actually like look around and see everything going on in the monastery as he conducts his business. I don't know why I did the quartz in there. I thought it kind of added a little cool texture. So yeah, that's, um, this is kind of probably one of the last major update videos for this build guys. As I said, we only had a few interiors left to do. So how can we get down here? But yeah, so this is kind of the probably gonna be one of the last big updates here. I'm working on a cinematic for it. I thought um, it'd be kind of cool to clean up at, or finish off every build with a big cinematic of kind of just showing off the major cool areas of it. And then we can start moving on to the next one, which I'll give you guys. Let's see if it'll render in. A little bit of a. Can we see it? Can we see it? I don't think we can see it. Come up. We can't get on top of that. Um, let's see. There. Aha. Can we see things? Yeah. You can kind of see the little stone right there. Yeah. So that's where we're headed over next, guys. We mentioned the farmlands before. I don't want to spoil any of the things over there. I want to show it to you guys later on. But yeah, that's where we'll be headed on next. After we finish off this guy. All I have left to do is one or two rooms up in here. Which I'll go show you them now. Um, it's pretty easy to get through up to the out area. I'm just kind of go in the back way. So right in here, I've been starting to work on this. this I want this to be like a storage room. I'm not very happy with it so far. I don't really know what I'm going to do. But we're working on that one. Probably going to change this up right here. These blocks, so it's not the same as the floor. Probably just like stair, stair and a half slab. And then in here, we have this room left to do. And we have this room left to do. All these little side rooms in here are pretty much done. We got a nice little fancy one over here. Might do some carpet or something right there. Um, a lower, oh, lower quality one. Um, so just kind of the double bunk bed for multiple people to stay there at a cheap rate. And then we have this little tiny room over here that again would be pretty cheap. And we've got these rooms over here that you guys have already seen. Yeah, so pretty much it's just this room, which I think I'm going to have into like a general like study living area for people staying in the inn. And then over here we got like this room is probably going to be for the owner. And then his family stays up here, which is pretty jam-packed with beds. But I figured it'd be, it was a pretty big family, so they're probably running the whole inn themselves. Because they're going to get a lot of people coming through this area, seeing as it's on the flip road, as Dukon likes to call it. So, um... Yeah, so that's kind of that whole upper area. And after you guys' comments on the last video, um, end this off here with something cool. I went with the Wolves Den Inn. I can't remember who that was by. Um, but yeah, so that is, I think that's going to finish it off for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm really looking forward to where we're going to get going on with this series as we finish up the monastery and move on to some other places. So as always, please like and subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you guys in the next one.